Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Paula. Um, I am going to do a an item for, or an embellishment for an upcoming journal. And um, I'll tell you right now, when I was sitting down to figure out what I wanted to do, it was, it was pretty time consuming. <laughs> So, if you don't have a lot of time, this might not be one for you. And there's a lot of little pieces to cut out. And I went ahead and did that because of how much time it took. Okay, so this is just basically going to be a pocket. And it's a, a large, in, um, it's a large uh, index card. And I've tea stained it and inked it. And then this is going to be underneath it so that it will pop more whenever I start adding things to it. And then this is going to be the background for the, the uh, whole project. So whenever I mount this into a book, if I want to mount it on a page or inside a cover, I would just glue the top down the sides and across and tuck it in or tuck it in this side you could choose depending on what page you put it on okay now let's get started because you know with all the pieces together i'm hoping that i don't have to um it won't take as long just to put it together everything has to be inked every piece every item you need to ink um, there's no specific measurements. I just eyeballed it, and I know that's difficult, but just go by your index card, okay? This, I will tell you, this is a four by six index card, so it's the large one. And I just went a quarter inch smaller for this portion, which is a script and a quarter inch larger for this black Christmas paper. Now, this does require scraps, is what I would say. I have a couple of bird journaling, Christmas journaling cards, a larger one and a smaller one that I'm gonna put on the front. And this one's gonna go in the pocket, okay? All right, now, I sat down and just drew this out I wanted it to look like an old timey, and then you can see where I cut it apart. I wanted it to look like an old timey stocking, and it did, except there's so many little pieces. And so, and the, the thing is, is, this is the toe, right down there. This is the heel. The heel and toe will be the same pattern paper, okay? The sock will have its own pattern paper, and the cuff, on all three of the stockings will be an off-white or a cream color. Everything's inked. So you can do, I did two red and one green so that the stockings could be alternated and, and look like they, it was, you know, they're not all identical. Um, I took a one, two, three, four, five and a half to six inch, whoops, let me move my pattern out of the way five and a half to six inch piece of twine, okay? And I tied a knot on each end, okay? All right, that's what our stockings are gonna hang on. Now, I do have clothespins, but I decided not to use the clothespins because um, mine were just too big for some reason. So I'm just going to, when I'm all done, I'm just going to cut a little black strip to make it look like a clothespin and put it at the top of the stocking. And we'll just play it by ear. Okay, so basically this is just going to be a fancy pocket. This is how my pattern started out. Okay, once I drew it, which I showed you, you know, I drew it and cut it apart. That's how I usually do patterns. And then um, then when I was done, I wanted to keep it so I don't have to draw it again someday. And then, you know, this is how it turned out. 
let me see if I've got something white I can put this on so you can kind of see. I hope you can see that all right. That's green with red. Here is um, number, that's number two, the green one is. Here's number two, it's a plaid with green. And here's the other red one. Just a red font or script with green holly. Okay, that is the stockings. Now, we've got our twine, we've got our two journaling cards, we've got our background. And, um, okay, and now we're gonna have, you can do this with alphas, or you can just hand write it. I used a punch, like a label punch, and I used the middle size. And I just, I free-handed Merry Christmas, okay? You can do or say whatever you want there. Okay, now if I were doing this on a card or something like that, I would um, use pop dots for like the label and maybe even the stockings. But because it's going to be in a junk journal, I don't want to bulk up my journal. So, basically, I've told you everything. We're just gonna put it together and it will make more sense to you at that point. Okay, I'm gonna set some things aside. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I always glue from the top to the bottom. I'm gonna use my Fabri-Tac just because it's faster and I don't wanna keep you guys on here all night. I kind of get something in my head. I, I've probably seen this somewhere or something or something similar and that's, you know, how it all come to my brain. I'm sure that uh, that's, that's probably what it is. I just got a big old blob right there in the middle. I'll just wipe it off on the black. And you might think, why did I want to pick black for the base of my my um, card? Well, it's not a card. It's a, it's a pocket. It's going to be a pocket. And it was because there were so many colors going on. And I, I knew that my letters on the Merry Christmas were black. And um, so I just thought, well, I'll just... You just want to center everything. Make it look like a photo mat. You know, like if you were triple matting a photo. We're not triple matting a photo, but it does still have that look um, as if we were. If, if you wanted to add a photo here, that's how photo matting would be. You start with the size that is a quarter bigger than your photograph, and then you... Uh, you go a quarter bigger, a quarter bigger, okay? And really, I could have just, instead of using an index card, I could have just used cardstock. But I started off using this index card, and I was determined at the end I would have an index card in there. Okay, so all this is glued together. So, if I decide to make a pocket, I don't have to. I could cover this with tea stain paper and make it a journaling card. But there's so many elements that I don't think I want to do that. So I will end up adding this to a page or an inside cover. And then you put your journaling card, and you want to put tea stain paper on the back of your journaling card. You don't want to stripe because they can't journal on that. And I will do that off screen. I don't want to bore you guys with that. Okay, so the next thing is we're going to get our black pen. You can get any kind of pen. And we are going to just do stitch marks. And I'm going to do these pretty big so you can see them on screen. And they're not going to be anything fancy, just, just stitch marks. Um, just to kind of separate this from the, the, the white layer because the white layer is... I don't want to say blending, but could easily blend with the script. And so, I'm just doing real quick 
little slashes. And this does not have to be perfect because we all know that it really wasn't stitched, but I'll show you up close how much difference that makes. And you saw how fast I did that. So that's an easy thing to do. I'm gonna scoot this over for a minute, bring out our little stockings, and I'm gonna do the same thing to the cuffs, okay? I want the cuffs to stand out, only the stitching on the cuffs is gonna be smaller because our cuffs are smaller. And, you know, they don't have to be even or anything like that. You don't have to have five on one side and five on the other. I don't even worry about that. I just, I just space them out. Okay. Now, I'm not going to detail the stocking. In other words, I'm not going to stitch on the stockings because that would just be crazy. I mean, I guess we could on the lighter one. Let's see what it looks like. It does look cute. But see, there's so much busyness going on with these other two heels and toes that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it on those. Okay. So we've got that part done. All the oops, all the details are done. So I'm put my pen up, bring out my my card back out, or my base. And we're gonna take this journaling card. And I like that it has the lines here, so you know it it's gonna work great. And I'm gonna bring it up just about like that. Now I'm going to glue this down to my base, the base of my card. Okay, and I want to angle it. I, I want to angle it where it almost looks like it's going to come off the page, but it doesn't. And it's just touching the stitch line. Okay, pretty simple so far. Okay, now, normally when you have like a clothesline or a string that you hang your stockings on, you would have something to actually attach them to. But I'm not going to attach them until I know exactly where they're gonna be placed. And probably I'll just put a dollop of glue under each knot because the stockings themselves are going to um, be glued down on top of, and there's there's not a right way or a wrong way. You can straighten your your string out if you need to. One can be higher than the other. Let's see. I don't want to cover up my nest if I can keep from it any more than necessary, but I have to keep my stocking on my project. So some of the berries might be, see you might have to pull this down so that it's under the stocking Tie, uh, pull the string down so that it's under the stocking. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue one at a time down while I've got them laying here. Ah, just move my string. Okay, and again, if you were hanging this on a string in your house, there would be, I mean, you wouldn't be measuring and making sure everything's just so-so. So don't worry about it. Just have fun. And um, I know once I drop this, it's all over. So you gotta kinda be brave. Now, there is gonna be a string behind this, so I would kinda hold my cuff down a little bit. And um, just so, you know, give it an opportunity to dry for a second. I hope you guys are having a good day. I um, 
I've been busy. I haven't stopped all day and it's 8.30. <laughs> it's 8.30. That sounds early to everybody, but really to me, I've been going. You have to excuse my hands. They're covered in ink. And not only that, but hair dye. So I went to the beauty shop today and I don't know, she was, she was coloring my hair. And as you can see, it's a dark color. And she was coloring my hair and I thought I felt something like crawling or something. I kind of reached up and touched my, my hand into my hair. <laughs> so needless to say, I come home and I use soap and scrubbed and scrubbed. And then I've been in here in the craft room, you know, I'm holding both of these down while they dry and get any kind of glue that might seep out. Okay, that's, they look pretty even, don't they? I didn't mean to do that, but okay, so I'm going to do this one at a little bit different height. Well, maybe. We'll just see how it comes comes out. Now this is the video itself. I gotta tell you, this video is not gonna be super long, but preparing this took me forever. Honestly, I didn't it would have been such a long video. And I thought it's just cutting stuff. You know, they they will know how to do that. But um I'm going to hold this down again. If you don't want to put a title on here, you don't have to put a title on it. But I just thought it kind of looked bare right in here. And so I just decided rather than dig out letters, I'd just handwrite it. And it looks more personable anyway when you do that. So you want to hold these cuffs down until they attach. I'm sure over time, I don't know how they'll do over time, but... Fabri-Tac's pretty strong. I'll set something on it overnight. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put just a tiny bit of glue right under this little knot. I think that was too much, too tiny. Okay. And over here. Now, you can use your imagination with this doesn't have to be stocking, stockings, it could be mittens, it could be, any, you know, a lot of different Christmas things. doesn't have to be a bird, it could be Santa. I almost did Santa, but I, I've done so much Santa, I was ready to do a bird. Okay, now, I'm trying to keep those down. I'm going to add my title. And I'm going to start with the Christmas. This is not a fancy title. I mean, I just printed it. The main thing is to try to center it if you can. I had to do the Mary a couple times to get it centered. Okay, so I'm going to put this kind of over. Now, again, I would pop that up. I'm making sure it's straight. I would pop that up if I were, you know, doing a card or whatever. This could really be a card. I mean, you could use this on a card. It's a lot of work for a card, I will tell you. I was telling myself the whole time is, why did you do this? <laughs> this is taking you forever. I know my poor husband was like, he thought I was lost in here. I came out of the room and I told him, I said, believe it or not, I'm just now ready to start my video. And I'd been in here over an hour. And my desk is like a disaster. Okay, now I'm going to just take some scissors. I'm going to take the same black paper. I'm going to take some scissors and I'm just going to cut some little strips. And they don't have to be perfect. And we're just going to make them look like clothespins. 
I, I would make them, you know, as close to the same size as possible. If I can get hold of them, my fingers are clumsy. I don't know, that looks a little long. I think I'm going to make them a little shorter than that. Let's just see what the difference is. That looks better. Not a whole lot diff whole lot of difference, but they don't they don't even have to, I like this one better. So we're going to go a little bit shorter. I'm sorry guys, my hands are right in the front of right in front of the camera. Okay. So basically what I guess I'm saying to you with this project is just use your imagination. Um, and um, have fun with it. It's an it's a it's simple. It's just time consuming. Now, if you wanted to make do a tag or an envelope or something like that, you could you could do that. Um, my corner is wanting to stick up. Um, but I, the scale that I cut mine at, I had initially thought I'd do a tag, but the scale of these um, were too big after I cut, after I drew it and cut it out. You know, I was just like, mm, I'm not doing these again. So I'll just do a big card that is a pocket. And uh, that's how I ended up. So I'm attaching these clothespins. If, if I can get hold of them where I can hold on to it. My hands are filthy. So first thing I'm going to do after this video is go scrub my hands. Of course, I do have to clean up my mess, which you should see. Oh, my goodness. I would show you, but I'm too embarrassed. But I have been working in here all day. Okay. I guess it's important that your clothespins are kind of at the same angle, or is at the angle of the clothesline itself, I guess. Okay. All right. Let me get hold of it, come on. I need to go get a manicure tomorrow after looking at these this black on my hands. I don't know if it would help or not. It's under my, it's stained under my fingernails. They're black. Okay. I have to kind of wipe some of that glue off when it dries a little bit because I just keep pushing it around. But there you go. All right, so this is a pocket. It looks like a card. But it's a pocket, and so you're going to slide your journaling card under here. You can use a journaling card. You can use a, um, just some lined paper or, you know, just use your imagination and um, just have fun with it. If you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up, and I'll try to see you back tomorrow. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We have lots of fun. All right, guys. You guys have a good night, and I'll talk with you tomorrow. Bye.